sorry for the lawn mower or the water. Victoria's playing in the water and they're mowing lawn outside. Okay, Robert likes popcorn. That's the only excuse for that. We're having macaroni and cheese and hot dogs and before I can't eat gluten anymore. This we tried last time, it was so delicious. I wanted to have some. Um, the family is having tacos one night. Tomorrow night, so Logan had asked for uh, chicken Caesar salads. So that's what that's for. It looks like a lot, but guys, there's not a lot of chicken in those. Just warning you. Um, one night they are having, um, oh, this isn't potato. Oops. They're having soup and sandwiches. <clears throat> Today, actually, I am making, maybe I'll record it, we'll see. I am making bagel bites. I had bought pepperoni before, forgot what I was using it for, let the kids eat it. And remember today what I needed it for. So I, I'm doing it today so, so I don't forget. Again, we're having macaroni and cheese one night with hot dogs. So that's that. So we had gotten a boo-boo from Walmart. They had given us the wrong stuff. And the kids were like... So we ended up with iced tea. And we just... Hold on. I'll just wait a minute. So we decided to get the kids some tea that they could have on the weekends. It's only going to be a weekend treat. So because we only go shopping once every two weeks, we got them two. Actually, this one's for me. I want a treat too. Because after this week, I won't be able to drink the stuff. So I wanted a treat, a goodbye treat. Um, that's green tea. Oh, yeah. Um, the kids are having, or the family, I'm not having because I do not eat this, but they're having Spam and rice. That's their other treat. So that's one weekend, that's two weekends. That's it. That's all they get. Um, Robert put all this out for me. Thank you very much. So we like to keep some in the closet because, come on. When the kids are hungry and you don't know what to cook or they don't know what they want and you really don't feel like cooking, macaroni and cheese is the answer. So we have one for the closet, one for macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. We got hot dogs for macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Taco season, because I told you we're having tacos. No rhyme or reason for these. We just seen them. We tried by this brand. It's at Walmart. They're a dollar a box, so there's not much in it. But we tried the mozzarella sticks. Guys, they were so good. So I seen these. Hold on. We got a mower going through. Okay, so we seen these. And I thought this would be good for us to try. They're loaded potato sticks. Again, they're a dollar, so I got two boxes. Because how much could really be in them? There wasn't much in the other one. And mozzarella sticks. The oh, they were on the other order. Okay. And we got mozzarella sticks because, again, treat before it's gone. So that's it. That's our whole order. It came to... They seen the baby no, shark. The baby shark. Because we love baby shark. Yeah. It came to... Um, one fifty, And then we got some more stuff because... Some stuff they didn't have, and I had to say no to the substitutes because they weren't... I just couldn't take the substitutes. Not that they didn't do a good job, because they always do, but we couldn't take the substitutes because we needed, like, a specific flavor or a specific thing. So we had to get rid of some substitutes, which meant Robert had to go in, which is where those some extra stuff came from, and that bill was 60 so this haul was over 200 but that is everything that is two weeks i told you the meals and then of course we have some stuff for stock because i want to slowly build up the stock in the pantry so we can have weeks that are like 100 bucks and that's it Especially with my new diet, guys, the amount of money I'm going to be spending on groceries is 
so it's like an absurd amount of money. So I'm trying to stock up the pantry for the family because when I start this, it's not a diet. I hate calling it a diet because honestly, it's the new way of living. In the beginning, I have to eliminate everything. And then I will slowly reintroduce stuff back in that's anti-inflammatory, of course. And then um, once I get to the point where I find out what I can and cannot eat, most likely dairy and gluten are going to be going for good, then the family is going to join me. But until then, they're going to eat all the good, delicious stuff. And I'm just going to wish that I did. And then they're going to give it up when I finally figure out what I can and cannot eat. That's the point of this whole thing. And they'll be eating like me. And you'll see our holes will be different. There'll probably be a lot more money, but we'll be taking care of our health. So it is what it is. Okay, Victoria's playing in the water that you're hearing. All right, so I did. I had it all set up right, and then I don't know. I'm, I went crazy here. We got a bunch of those because it's really hard to find French vanilla pudding, and I am making that um Pola Dean's banana pudding um I'll link the recipe because I've made it and I have it on my I have it on my site on my uh YouTube so I'll link it so that's where the chestnut cookies come in feta goes with the salad we're having salad one night um milk mozzarella sticks just because oh here we go Mozzarella sticks just because. Um, feta, uh, fiesta cheese because we're having tacos. That is for the, that is for the, um, Paul D. Sour cream is for the tacos. I don't remember the cream cheese. I don't know what that's for. There is Caesar dressing. Uh, the sweetened condensed milk is for the, full of heat thing and we're having tater tot casserole so that's with the green beans and mushrooms. 